Good morning once again, all my lovely subscribers and my new viewers. If that, uh, if you fit that category, then welcome. Um, you may want to go check out the first two videos in this. No, first several videos actually in this uh, in this series before you watch this one. But other than that, watch on, guys. So basically. We're getting a little bit of frame rate. I might have to close a few programs here, guys. Sorry about that. I tend to uh, not think about what I'm running when um, when I start recording. But basically, all that's changed since last time is this. I've uh, put some flooring in this new room. And today's project is to find some iron so we can build ourselves a nice little water feature out there which of course I need iron buckets to do <laughs> I mean a bucket so I need two lots of iron because I've already got one iron ingot in my in my uh, chest sorry so that's what we're going to do right now we're going to go on an epic adventure to find some iron and I'm going to turn it off peaceful because I don't want to be a noob like that alrighty so basically, yeah, that's the uh, the goal for this episode is find some iron. Because as you can see, I'm still using uh, stone picks and stone tools. So uh, I really want to make the uh, the upgrade to iron because it is a lot better. And that'll mean we can start our mining shaft and go in search of some diamond. Um, but yeah. One of the um, previous episodes where I actually got lost, I was on my way home and I came across a cave with a fairly large amount of iron. I'm kind of hoping that I can uh, find that again. The only reason I didn't collect it is because I am I, I ran out of a uh, pick, so I couldn't mine anymore. But I'm pr oh, this might this yes, this is it here. Beautiful, look at that. Remember which way to go. Okay, um, need to make sure we got a quick exit out of here in case we're being chased by skeletons, etc. That one there. All right, sweet. Let's do this. Uh, I might just go up here quickly. Oh, there we go. Straight away we got some iron. Hello, zombie. Yeah, you can't get me up here, fool. But I can get you. Are you trying to hide from me or something? What are you doing? Oh well. Oh, the only thing I've done. Oh, okay, it's not going to fall. Sweet. Sweet. Oh, it is going to fall. Okay, well. Zombie. Give me a break, bro. Give me a break, bro. Alright, you're just asking for it now, zombie. Look. Oh, the guy's soft. He's like antagonizing me and then hiding in a hole when I come to get him. But anyway, we got some irons. I think we might explore this a little bit further because this is a little bit too epic to pass up. But there is one thing I forgot, and that is food. So if we take too much damage, we're going to have to leave, unfortunately. Oh, lots of coal. It's good. I need, I need, uh, I need some coal. But um, I was watching. I've been watching um, P Bat's uh, seven day. Minecraft zombies or zombie craft um, series, and that just zombie craft looks absolutely amazing. It really does. If you haven't seen it, go go over to Pbat's channel and check it out because it sure is something. It's going to be real awesome once they do bring that in. Yeah, basically it allows you to play the Nazi zombie map um, from the original World at War, and you can buy. A weapons off the wall and it's just going to be awesome guys so that's uh, due for release on March 2nd I believe and there's our friend Mr. Zombie decides to finally show his face and unfortunately for him he had a very bad day as my friend FPS Russia would say um, yeah I know there's lots of coal here but I don't really want to go wasting my pickaxe on coal at the moment because iron is my goal for this episode 
lots of coal here. Good to see I never run out of coal. I just remember that it's here. But let's go deeper into this epic cave of epicness. Alright, how are we going to get down there safely? I know, we're going to build a ladder over here. Well, not a ladder, but a staircase. We're going to build it right here. Okay, I can hear another zombie somewhere. But of course, he's probably too uh, too soft to show his face also. Probably saw what happened to his friends. Or nah, stuff, that. I'm not going in there. I don't really blame him either. I wouldn't want to face me neither. Wow, this goes straight down by the looks. Oh, there's some redstone down there. Is that, what is that? Oh, no, it's just a mushroom. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Geronimo. Okay, there's water here. What we're going to do is go ahead and we're going to block that off. I'm not really too keen to be fighting against waterfalls right now. Some more iron. Beautiful. But yeah guys, it looks like this cave holds a fair amount of potential for us to explore in the future. But I think for now, we're going to call it a day. Because this zombie clearly doesn't want me in, or the zombies clearly don't want me in this cave. But, oh what the hell, we'll just explore a little bit further. Who cares about the render and upload time? Yeah, a little bit of frame rate lag. There we go, it's sorted itself out. Okay, I'm gonna go this oh beautiful, this way. Okay, this cave doesn't really have a lot of minerals. But it has a lot of zombies. Ah you almost got a hit off on me. That could have ended badly. What I'm really aware of is creepers coming out of nowhere and being like Boom! And I'm like, oh, that kind of sucks. <laughs> oh, hello, skeleton. Would you like to die also? Yeah, let's go see what's up here. Just real quick. Nothing exciting, just a bunch. Oh, it's mine. Sweet. So yeah, if I ever run out, run low on coal, I'm definitely coming back here. But for now, I uh, ah oh, yeah, I'm gonna take some, you know, because we're not gonna run out of pig. So I'm just gonna take some of this coal, and then we'll head back. We'll call it a day for this episode. I'll get started on my water feature, and I'll show you guys how I went when I return. So that's the end of our first pick. Move on to the next one. That's all the coal gone anyway. So let's exit out of this cave and hopefully I can remember the way back. I mean, it's fairly straightforward, but knowing me, I'll probably get lost somehow. Like now, I can see daylight though, so that's all right. Oh, lucky, 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 lucky. All right, sweet. Well. I think guys that was my first successful non-fatal cave exploration I've ever done in the Let's Play series. Every other time I've tried to explore caves I've just died and that's where I've lost my interest in the uh in the series. So um yeah, that's kind of a a la like a I don't know milestone for me if you like. It's complete a successful cave exploration in a Let's Play video. So yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hold your applause, please. <laughs> but basically, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go home. I'm going to make myself a bucket, some iron tools, and I'm going to make a nice water feature outside my house, outside the lounge room kind of area, whatever you want to call that. Make a waterfall running down into that uh, that kind of lake that we got out the front going there. And also, next episode, I want to kill a spider, and I want to get its string so I can make a uh, a fishing rod for a more sort of uh, steady food source if you like because while I do have a lot of bacon that's only you know a short supply and I'll have to go out searching for more pigs but if I uh, if I get a fishing rod I can just come out here cast a line and get you know food kinda instantly and 
I like my timing. I get home just as the sun starts to go down. <laughs> anyway, my friends, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, we appreciate it if you could leave a like rating. Um, subscribe if you're new and you enjoyed this. But other than that, guys, it's been your old mate Rob Dog from Australia. <laughs> and I guess I'll be speaking to you guys next time. Until then, take care.